What's going on, y'all? I want to go over markers in Studio One and how to use them and what they're used for. Uh, so markers are used to mark specific points in a song, uh, your start, end, verse, hook. Uh, I feel that markers should be done in the recording stage and definitely be done when it's time to mix. Uh, it's one of those things that can help you keep organized and in Studio One, you can jump around between markers very quickly. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, the first thing to open up your marker track, uh, you click this flag here and you can see I've got the whole song laid out. So when I first get a mix, if if it's not already marked, uh, what I do is I, I play the song and as I'm playing the song, you can hit Y to add a marker or Shift Y is what I hit to come up with a named marker or a marker where you can uh, put a name for it in. So for example, I'm just going to hit play, and so I hit Y, you just got a marker, but if you hit Shift Y, now you get a marker uh, that you can name. So what I do is, is as the song is uh, playing back, I'll set my markers all the way through the song. And one of the good things about this is, uh, for example, I was mixing a song for Jashayla, and uh, she wanted me to do something to the bridge, and what she had marked as the bridge, if it wasn't marked, I would have thought that the bridge was another part of the song, uh, something else uh, that was there in the session. So because she had already marked it as the bridge, uh, when she tells me to do something to the bridge, I know where the bridge is in that song. I want to also show you that if you hold Option and click, you can set your end, there we go. And if you hold command and click, you can set your start. Now, also, let's say this section here, let's say I knew the song was gonna be uh, to the end of this event. Uh, if you hit option and Y, uh, you see the end jump to the end of that selection. So option Y will take uh, your event and create the start and end around that event. Uh, for example, in this event here, option Y, and now I have uh, the start and end of the event there. With markers, you can, for example, this two track mix here, uh, under the macros, markers split all tracks as markers uh, what you can do with this is as you see as it split it now between each marker I have a separate event which allows me to easily loop each event or excuse me loop each marker I can easily do that and lastly uh, once you have your song marker set, uh, Shift and B move to the marker before, and Shift N moves to the marker ahead. So once I have my marker set, I use that to quickly jump around the session and get where I need to be. All right, uh, that's song markers in Studio One, and I'll catch y'all next time.